That's right, you promised well, and he's actually coming. A legend, an Arsenal legend. An absolute legend. He won a couple of championships. Was it the famous 1990 no, he won one title. Won one title. Okay, sorry. One, one title. FA Cup. He was in the famous 1991 team under Georgie. Yeah. The only one lost one game. Brilliant, isn't it? Brilliant. Well, great, well, great player, wasn't he? Fantastic. Player, mod, model pro. And Very down to earth, off the pitch and he as well. Took, he took the piss out of Des Walker, didn't he, on, the, on, his, <laughs> on his debut? Oh, did he? Yeah. Well, well, I don't. Well, well, I'm sure he wouldn't say. Shall that. we welcome him? <laughs> the one and only yes, Kevin sir. Campbell. Come in, Kevin. Welcome, welcome, right. welcome. Hi, Claude. All right. Hi. All right, Kevin. Thank you very much. How are you? Brian, thank you. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How's I'm good. Everything? Very good. I was at the FA Youth Cup game yeah, last I night. Yeah, I was there yesterday as well. You know, against Arsenal against Chelsea. Yeah. And um, it was it was interesting to watch that game because for me it kind of mirrored the youth team kind of mirrored the first team right? in a sense you know on the ball very good yeah but whenever they turned possession over it was very difficult for them and uh, yeah. I think those are the little things that the first team need to address as well you know so don't worry Kevin's only one other two weeks to go yeah I know I know we, we can't wait for the new manager yeah. let's be yeah. honest can't wait for the new men to take over. Obviously, Wenger's done a great job over his time. Incredible, incredible. Who's your favourite player, Kevin, in the current squad? At Arsenal currently, I, yeah. I think, you know, I've got two. Okay. I've actually got two. Lacazette. Alexander. I think he's, he's mustard. I really do. <laughs> and I since like since Aubameyang's come, mm -hmm. I think they've got a really good understanding together. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, that gesture which you didn't quite like, Claude, you know when he gave Lacazette the penalty? No, yeah. I was joking. So this is what yeah, no, no, like, I'm just saying you didn't quite like it at the time. People ain't got a sense of humour. <laughs> yeah, this you're right. Like, people ain't got a sense of humour. But at the time you said, no, it wasn't the right thing no, to do. No, I understand yeah. that. No, because I also think it's a mental, it's a mental edge to me that you're up for a, you're up for your hat trick, yeah? yeah. Take it, you know. That's a mental edge. Yeah, you know but you I mean? can. You but, mean, but you're showing you're but, thinking about the yeah, team as well, and to, that's no bad yeah, thing. I know. I know that's I know, no bad thing, is it? It's not I all about you. It's just about you know what I mean. The mentality I, to, to put that penalty away and get a hat trick. I could bring someone else. I want in. a player to be greedy. I want a player to be. Yeah, but it's about the team. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it, actually, why not think about Lacazette being greedy? Because Lacazette needs the goal. Exactly. Yeah, okay. So, you know, but, it, it worked yeah, out yeah, because he's on fire out. at the moment, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I don't so, think that was the reason he's... No, but anyway, no that started him off. That yeah, was my point. Okay. Yes, It yes, started yeah. him off, so that yeah. was a good gesture. And they seem to have a good I understanding. Thought, yeah, I thought Bamiang, I don't know whether it's because we didn't play to his uh, strengths. Oh, he didn't get the ball. I thought he Sunday. wasn't... It was a, a bit factor. Lost, wasn't it? a factor. I don't think it wasn't quite a factor. No. But remember, it's a young side, mm. so yeah. we can't can't look too deep into that. As but I say, you can't take much in this uh, Sunday's game. I thought there was a, like played like testimonial. Well, well, I don't know. I don't they're, know. they're my two favourite boys right now. Okay, Lacazette and Aubameyang. Aubameyang. I, I love. I, I want Arsenal to play with two up front. Yes, yes. Mm. That's what I want. Yeah. Two up front. Back yeah. to the old style. Two up front. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. That's why. Why have we gone away, Kevin? Why are we right there? Why have we gone away from that two up front? We, know, we seem to have this one striker now. Why has it gone away from all that? I think a lot. Think? I think a lot of the, the the mentality in the UK game, especially in the Premier League, has come from Spanish, where yeah. they flood midfield. Mm. Yeah. So you know the old formations, and and this is the funny thing about formations. You could play four four two, be mm. four five one, three five two. It can morph into whatever you want it to, but yeah. when you lose the ball, you actually know your jobs because you're yeah, settled 4-4-2. Yeah. So didn't we yeah. conquer Europe years ago with, with that system? Yes, we did. So why are we going back to what other teams and what other teams are doing rather than concentrating on what our strengths in the British because, games are? Because we don't believe in ourselves enough. I, I, I truly believe that. Mm -hmm. We don't believe in ourselves enough. Why do you think, Kevin, that there's few black managers coming through the game do you think, in, at the moment? Because there are some good managers, isn't it? Yeah. And we get the same old recycle of managers all the time, isn't it? 
getting into gut into into jobs. Is that do you think there's a fair is it's been fairly? Well, is there, is there any of you know Kevin? Because uh, um, if I can remember quite rightly, I think there was the Lincoln City manager. Is it Keith Alexander? Keith Alexander. I don't know if he's still there. Paul Lynch mm. managed. Um, who did Milton Keynes Dons? I think. Didn't he? Someone like that. Didn't he pass away? Or Tramman? Didn't Keith pass away? He could have. He could have. Yes, he, he, he did, did pass I know, away. I know Keith Cole um, was managing as well. Well, Keith Cole still is at Carlisle, isn't he? Mm. But apparently he's leaving at the end of the season. Yeah. There's Chris Hutton. Chris Hutton. He's, the, he's the, the most high profile. And, and right now, I think Darren Moore is doing a fantastic job. Oh, he's doing a job brilliant. Job he's doing an absolutely brilliant job. And, and, and to just tie into that question, hmm. it's difficult to get a manager's job. Exactly. And when the lads have got managers' jobs, they haven't been given any time whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now Darren Moore stuck set off. He's got he's got as many points as Alan Pardew did mm. in the whole of his tenure. Wow. You know. Wow. Yeah. Games against Manchester United, Liverpool, yes. etc. Yes. So it'd be interesting to see he's given if a chance. Darren Moore gets a chance. Exactly. Exactly. Because I know Darren Moore personally. Okay. Top guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Knows yeah. West Bromwich mm. Albion really well. Yeah. Very disciplined in what he does. Yeah. And I think the players have responded to him. Yeah. You yeah. always know by results, don't you? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. But is it is it something a lot of um, ex players? Well, there's Sol, Sol Campbell out there who's looking for a job. Yeah, he's can't been talking get a about job. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so is there the opportunity there? I don't think there is. And people talk about, you know, yeah, he can get a job and forgot. So Campbell's played for England. Yeah. Been at mm -hmm. Arsenal. Yeah. You know, been an invincible, etc. Et I'm Allegedly. sure he's got some real something real good to give to the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he won't look, he's still not he's gone for Grimsby, can't get Grimsby, you know, yeah. he's gone for jobs and he's he's not getting taken on so the Alan Pardews of this world can fail and fail and fail and fail, mm. not just Alan Pardew, but yeah, his other yeah, managers. Yeah. And a Sol Campbell who, somebody has to take a chance. Mm. Yeah. Some, some teams have to take a chance on these managers because why not? If, you, if you're a top player, it doesn't always relate to being a top manager. But Sol Campbell and, true, and, and the like, John Barnes at times. Yeah. Could do a job. Well, didn't John Barnes? John Barnes was a Celtic yeah. and stuff. But again, it may it may go wrong to start with, mm, but but some, you have to persevere. I know in modern day football you don't get the time. Yeah, and the Arsenal Wengers of this world doing twenty odd years, amazing. Probably a thing of the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at least if if the if the the black players or ex players ever get a chance, you've got to give them a little bit of time. Do you think in, uh, in the modern day, Kevin, that you would score more goals than than in than, than the previous? previous. If, if he was now playing now, hundred percent, hundred percent. I mean, you remember back in the day, this is where the defenders could tackle from behind. Mm. Mm. So the ball's getting played up, and mm. people are going through you at the back, and uh, you know you get they would get one free one. But nowadays, I don't see anybody putting tackles in. Yeah. It's not as physical as it was, you know. The pitches are nice. Yeah. yeah. It's it's all it's all nice. And back in the day, it was it was war. It really was war. So, hundred percent. I mean, I don't see many strikers who are getting up in the air and scoring from crosses. No. Nah. It's, it's, sometimes it's very difficult to watch because you know we we say that the game's moved on, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. The game's moved on, and it's it's more respect for the fitness and all that. But if you're a good player, you're a good player. And back in yeah. and back in the eighties and nineties, mm. there were some some good and, teams and, the and some good the players. The pitches weren't great either, were they, Kevin? No, exactly. So, you know, now you're playing on carpets, aren't you? I mean, the carpet, the, the ball runs true every yeah. time. You know, it's, it's it's amazing. I mean, look, the stadiums now. I mean, were, you remember the baseball ground? <laughs> well, yeah. it only had grass <laughs> on the outside yeah. of the pitch. Can you remember? Really? It was like they used to roll the mud. <laughs> Uh, they couldn't find a penalty spot once on that. Exactly, you know it was crazy, the baseball yeah. ground. Sorry. So, I say definitely, I'd say definitely I would, I would score more goals. Yeah. Playing for a club like Arsenal, where nobody can really tackle you from behind or whatever. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Feel, feel your boots time. Yeah. Really feel your boots time. But Kevin, you say that, mm. right, and that's fair enough. But then, how, not, how would, not you, but how can injuries 
bad, bad, bad injuries to Aaron, Aaron Ramsey, Vasarik Abdiyabi, and Eduardo. What's all that about then? What do you, what do you make of that then? It's all part and parcel of the game. We know we don't want it to happen. Mm. Of course we don't. But you know, as a, as a football club, when something like that happens, mm. you know, I, I can only go back to a Tony Adams and, 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 and that like, they would have been pulling everyone together and say, listen, we don't, we don't capitulate. Oh, we sorry. make sure we keep our in, head and, in and your we win. In your day, mm. right? I mean, when you're playing, yeah. players would play with injuries, wouldn't they? With, even the if they're not. But now, I don't think they would be so much committed as, as you no, lot were wouldn't. with injuries. They wouldn't. I mean, I remember. And you take pain je- well, killing I did, injections. I did. I've done it many times. They won't do that now, mate, will they? Well, I, I, I don't. I think it's the, the, the game's changed. Mm. The game has changed to the point where. Be, we were fans playing. Yeah, yeah. The old teams were fans playing. Mm. Yeah, you know, because yeah. we'd come through the ranks. We had that rapport with the, with the support. Yeah. And I'm not saying that the, the modern day player hasn't got a rapport with the fan, but I think it's a little bit different when you've come through the ranks yeah. at the club. Yeah. Fans tend to take it more to heart mm. because yeah. you, you know you've worked your way into the first team. You know, I stood on the I stood on the terrace. I stood on the north bank. Stood on the clock end. You know, times I couldn't even get in. Buying a program was it for me. Wow, really? At, at, at the stadium until they opened the gate at the North Bank, and then me and my mates were shooting. You know, <laughs> not in, but um, okay. It's it's different now. It, it is. It really is different now. Yeah. Th- that mindset of the modern player. I do, I don't. I think they could learn a lot from the old players. Mm. Yeah. If they could embrace that mindset, I know the club will be in a better place. Yeah. I know it would. Yeah, Kevin, you, you remember that um, against Paris Saint Germain. If I can remember correctly, David I only just sat in David, my seat that day. David really? Gillard, when it went yeah. in? Yeah, because <laughs> it was that early, wasn't it? It was early, four, was it four minutes or we six? Got, I got stuck in traffic and we uh, just, just sat in my seat. And as, you, as, you, as the ball came over, you put it in. And that was 1-0, wasn't it? About three or four minutes into the game, wasn't it? Yeah, four minutes, I think. Into the game. I think David Daniel was playing that day, wasn't he? I think. Ginola, George Weah, Valdo, Gwen. Yeah, I think Paris had a team. Den- Denny and Wright got that book in that ruled him out of the oh, final, yeah. didn't he? Yeah, he got right. booked yeah. and he yeah. lost his head. Mm. I've got to tell you, in the dressing room. De- yeah, that's what he said. In the dressing room, yeah. at yeah. half time. Yeah. Wright yeah. went ballistic. He went absolutely mad. He was smashing things. The teacups went, <laughs> everything, and um, finally George Graham, you know, he came in and he looked around, he said, pointed at me, he said, go and have a word of him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I went and went, calm down, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Said, Cams, I can't believe it, you know, I'm out of the Yeah, 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 yeah. And stuff. So he came back in, was there, the face, it set. Mm. Yeah. And George Graham said, right, look, this is about the team now. Yeah, yeah. that's right. You know. Yeah. We've got to get there. We're one nil up. We've got yeah. to get to the mm. final. If you get yeah. to the final, you come and you support the boys and let's let's just make sure we get there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, right, he cleared his head. Yeah. Obviously went out there second half. And they were a really good side, Harry mm. Sanchez. They were a really yeah. good side. But it was typical, you know, one nil to the Arsenal. Yeah. <laughs> that's where the song, that's actually where the song happened yeah. in Paris. Yeah, all right, yeah. Well, the one one. No, 1-0 mm. to the Arsenal, mm, yeah. that's where the song, because they were playing, I think it was the Pet Shop Boys. Yeah. That's right, yeah. Go West. Yeah. yeah, that's right, yeah. And we took the lead out there, right, he scored. With a header. And then all the Arsenal fans were singing 1-0 to the Arsenal. All oh, right. Yeah, yeah, to yeah, the yeah. Arsenal. Yeah. Ginola that, scored. Ginola yeah. scored. What's and, I mean? uh, Equalised, and then obviously we done it at Highbury, mm. so all the fans were 1-0 to the Arsenal. Yes, yes, And yes, that's yes. where that song, and by the way, what a great night out that was, <laughs> after that game. <laughs> Because <laughs> a lot of people didn't believe we could beat them. Yeah, well, they yeah, were yeah, yeah, such yeah. a good side. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. They were such yeah. a good side. And you know, to meet Palmer in the yes. final as well. Who battered us as well. Yeah, they battered us. I mean, they had some top players. Thomas Bowling, uh, Faustino Spria, uh, Gianfranco Zola. I've, I've got to tell you, mm. George Graham's kidology. Yeah. So what happens is both teams train at the ground mm. separate yeah, the po- times. The parking stadium. So we go to the stadium. Yeah. We train first. Yeah. And then 
Palmer turn up after, so we're just taking our boots off and they're coming in, you know. Yeah. And George Graham's talking to some of their staff. Yeah. Then he comes over and he says, lad, you won't believe. He says, you won't believe. What this is? The money that they're on to beat you in the final. <laughs> so we're like, what are they on? He says, I thought it's about a hundred grand a man. To beat you. <laughs> so we had a meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Out, of, out of respect, we got to make sure they don't get that hundred grand. <laughs> hundred grand to beat us. We, we had to make sure we didn't get yeah, beat. So yeah. that's why, if you, know, if you notice, we battle like crazy yeah, 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 in that yeah, yeah. game. The defending was incredible. And we didn't really have the full team out, obviously. Yeah, but John was injured. I mean, there was a couple of a couple of players had injections. Yeah, I had injection in my toe. Yeah, um, I, I broke my toe, but I had mm. injection to play. Yeah, and after about sixty-five minutes, it started wearing off. Right, so, okay. so I've called over to the doctor. I said, Doc, I need another blocker in there. Yeah, he says I can't put another blocker in there. So. The last uh, 25 minutes, I was running around like having glass in your boot, oh running on that tap toe. But hey, we yeah. got there in the end. That's what it was all about. You did get as long there. as you I still win, there. I don't care. That was <laughs> <laughs> so that was brilliant. Yeah, fantastic. And back to the question. Yeah. Scoring that goal at Highbury. Yeah. Obviously, it's a dream. Right. For me right. as an Arsenal fan, it's yeah. a dream. Yeah. And scored a winner in a semi-final. Yeah. I'll take that. And early as well. And early. Uh, yeah, I had to put you through the mill, didn't we? You know, <laughs> put you through the mill, no, only absolutely. one mill. But uh But you know in, in them days, I mean when we when we took the lead and um, you even before even before and you know when you know one up you 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 knew the game was won, didn't you? You do. You just had that confidence. Well, you, well, There's the only one time I can never forget uh, nineteen ninety one, we were two 0 up against Man City and strolling and and that David White scored twi twice. Yeah, pegged us right back. Right back. Yeah, and I thought, I what the hell's happening here, man? I thought, well, that's not us. We completely, but we and, held on. But that, that's what it's like in the mm. running, because that mm. was kind of the running for the league, wasn't it? Then it there was, was that moment where David Platt went in goal, remember? Yes, at Villa. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah, One five yeah. minutes. Yes, how did you feel then? You scored a hat trick, and Ian scored. A screamer at Swindon. I think when I can't. Where did they play again? I can't remember. County ground. I said the yeah, county, county ground. ground. Yeah. Well, look. Where well, you got? It, I think it was Christmas time as well. Wasn't yeah, it, it was, was yeah. Christmas yeah. time. Yeah. And it's it's always difficult Christmas time because you have got back to back games. And uh, to start and to score a hat trick. Yeah. I'm buzzing. I'm not out there. <laughs> yeah. I'm the man. <laughs> the next minute, Ian Wright comes out with a 40, 40 yarder. Which was incredible. Which was bang in the top corner. Yeah. He got all the plaudits. Yeah. But what no everybody should know is I got the match ball, see? Yeah, mm. that's right. So yeah, he yeah. had to sign the match ball to me. I said, right, you make sure you put on there, even though he scored a 40 yarder. Yeah. I've got to give you the ball because I got that trick. So it was all good. Had you ever played there before? Was that the only time you played there? No, I played there quite a few times coming through the ranks. Okay. And um, we were comfortable. Look, th that team was aggressive. We were aggressive. We knew we'd go anywhere and win. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, having that mindset, we sent, we sent the Arsenal fans home happy. We yeah. went there with the right attitude. We had good players. It was Gorman in charge then? Gorman, oh, John Gorman, gosh. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm was not it sure. Hoddle? Hoddle wasn't in charge then, was it? No, I don't think Gorman. Hoddle was before Hoddle's time. Gorman, yeah, yeah, I don't think Hoddle was in charge. But, um, you know, we would have beat him if Hoddle was in charge anyway. Mm. Who's Hoddle? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> who's, who's Hoddle? Yeah. Yeah. I see him on the uh, highlights. You're seeing him. You do, no, you do with him, don't you? I do it with, uh, with Glenn, yeah. He's a good, you know, he's, a, he's such a good guy. Yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah. But, you know, he doesn't, doesn't like when we smash him. Interesting. So didn't Young Argo Fiotto play? He was Yano in that Swindon Fiotto, team. Yeah, he was in that Swindon team. Yeah, they had some good players. Mm. Swindon had some, some some really good players, but on the day we were just we were mustered on the day and we just took them apart. So you know it was a good day for us. Fantastic. Right, Fantastic. Cool. Next question. Favourite moment against the Spurs? Ooh -hoo. You must have a lot of ones, isn't it? Well my favourite against... moment against Spurs has to be the revenge game. Oh 1993. Has to be the revenge game at Wembley. Yes, 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 Tony yes. Adams. Tony yes. Adams. T 
Tony Adams with the header. Yeah, because the pain we felt getting oh, done three yeah. one. And we heard when, about we, it. when we were running away with the league. Yes, 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 yes. And I remember what happened, mates what, of mine. What happened that day? I mean, we were so controlling league. What do you think happened on that day? Was it just that we didn't turn up? Or? No, we turned up, Claude. We turned up. If you if you remember rightly, they were two 0 up. Mm. Yeah, in the and then Alan, Alan Smith scored. Yes. And if you remember, I hit the bar. Well, that's what I was going to say. Hit I bar. hit the bar. If uh, that would have made it two each, then. they're dead. Because mm. yeah. they knew they would have been on the back foot then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, some characteristics of our team, David Seaman, I'm sure he will tell you himself, didn't have the best of games. No. He, he let one from Gary Lineker shot straight through his hands. Yeah. Through his hands. Yeah. But hey, you know, these things happen. Do you think you should stop the free kick? Or do you think there's two? Well, uh, you always say, is it, is it goalkeeper side? Mm. The free kick was goalkeeper side, and I fancied Dave Seaman to save it. Yeah. Obviously, because it's goalkeeper side, but you know, Gaza, I've, I've nearly strangled him about it bit pre- at Everton. By the way, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah. it was a brilliant free kick. It, it was a brilliant free kick. They take yeah. nothing away from from some Tottenham on the day. Mm. They beat us fair and square on the day, and, mm. and we were absolutely sick. And it was funny, you know, after the game. Yeah. We're in the dressing room and everyone's quiet. Yeah. And George Graham came in and we're expecting him to blast us. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he said, lads, he said, we're running away with the league. <laughs> he said, this is a blip. And he said, we're going to be in training tomorrow. He says, I don't mind. He said, go and have a few beers with, with the group. Go and have a few beers. We're in tomorrow. And he said, we're, we're going to start our finish, start the finish of the league. We're going to make sure we get over that line properly. And that's the type of mentality George Graham had. Yeah. And it refocused us and it was good. But then to, two years later, wasn't it? It was two years later. Yeah. The draw comes out. <laughs> Arsenal, yeah. Tottenham. Yeah. Payback. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. payback. It yeah. was payback. And that was the way the team fought. The team fought payback. Obviously, it was a scrappy game, it was as scrappy. most most of them are. Yeah. And it was weird, you know, when we got the free kick. I think it was Paul Davis on it. Yeah, that's right. Paul yeah. Davis was on the free that's kick, right, right. and we'd been working on overloading. Okay. Overloading the back mm. of right, yeah. Tottenham because they tended to 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 underload the back post. Right. Okay. So if you notice, know, Tony Adams kind of spun round the back. Right the back so yeah. it was overload. Neil Ruddock was there, but it was two players he didn't know. So yeah. Normally you take the nearer one and let the far one go. And Tony Adams came in at the back post. Yeah, yeah. Bang, yeah. one nil. Yeah. And what a feeling that Something was. Something we're not great at now, it's set pieces, is it? We're not great, but well, you know, it was, it mm. was a win. That was really important for us to get them back. What's your favourite ever goal for Arsenal? Uh, my favourite ever goal for for Arsenal was against Sheffield Wednesday. We played Sheffield Wednesday at was, home. Was that the 7-1 when we just exploded into life? There you go, Ty. You got it. <laughs> so, do you know, all of that season, I got injured in pre-season. And, that was 1-1 and, and, at half-time, wasn't it? Well, it was 1-1 one, one up to 70 minutes. And it was a yeah. stalemate, wasn't it? I it think was it was a stalemate. Sheridan equalised or something it, it, like that. Uh, Hurst. Hurst, that's David it. Hurst. Yeah. Hurst equalised. And, it and was, got injured. It was, yeah. It was 1-1 one, one up to that time. And it was just going to 1-1 one, one draw, wasn't it, really? Yeah. And George Graham, all that season, said to me, you and Ian Wright can't play together because you're two similar players. Because I was yeah. always the one hunting space and Alan Smith was the target man. Yeah. So. I then started to practice and train to be a target man a yeah. lot more. Yeah. So he took Alan Smith off and he brought me on. And within about two minutes of me coming on, I, I, I got a throw in, I think it was from Nigel Winterberg. He threw it into me on the edge of the box and I just turned and I hit it and it it was on its way out before Chris Woods even died. Yeah, like, it, was you know. it was amazing, it was amazing. And, and that set us off. We, we ended up winning that game 7-1. That's right, that's right. And yes. I, I don't know if you remember, we, 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 we beat Liverpool 4-0. Yes. And we beat, 
Like, and as Limpar got yeah. one nearly from oh, the halfway oh, line. Yes, yes, and, and yes. And we went yes. on a tear in the league. Yes. We were ripping everybody together. Yes, yes, yes. And if yes. we'd have got put together four weeks before that, we'd have won the league. Yeah, absolutely, yes, yes. But unfortunately, we only got put together then. So, yeah. as favourite goals go, that was my favourite goal because it actually was the catalyst for yes. us to... 92 for 92. Yeah, that's, that's why... 92 goals that was, year. Was that, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't that the year when... Uh, the last year of the actual North Bank as a... The mural. No, no, it didn't have the mural. It was the, before they... Before they started stripping yeah. it back. Yeah, I and think it, it was. wasn't that the year when Ian Wright got his... Beat Gary Lenick on the last day yes. to get... That's oh, right. Yes, Southampton. that's right. Southampton, was, yes. yeah, that's yeah. right. When yeah. he was yeah. the left back. Yeah. Dave Seymour threw yeah. the ball and he went the whole the length of the year. pitch. Yeah. yeah, that was the same year. Yeah, we, we, went, yeah, we, we went ballistic. We went ballistic when we got put together. Yeah. My question has got to be, what is your favourite favorite moment in your whole Arsenal career? I'd ask you about um, your career, but no, you're favorite, the other no, clubs. Favourite favorite, favorite, favorite moment in my Arsenal career? Ever. From when, from when you played from the team eight, to when you unfortunately left? Yeah, my, my, my favourite moment was coming out at Highbury against Coventry after we oh. won the title. Right. We won the title and it was Coventry at home because we played Man United. 6-1, wasn't it? 6-1. Six, 6-1, one. Six, one, yeah. Coming out for the warm-up. Yeah. And the atmosphere. Mm. Everybody was happy. Everybody had the wigs on. and yeah. it, was, it was such a buzz. Yeah. And as an Arsenal fan, this is something I'd, I'd dreamt of. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Being a, being a title winner. Wasn't Kenny Sampson playing with him? He, he, he was, yeah. Was Kenny Sansa, no, Kenny Sansa was, was, playing, yeah. was playing for them. Yeah. But, I mean, unfortunately, Anders Limpar was... <laughs> Unbelievable, wasn't he? <laughs> oh, was brilliant. incredible. He got a trick that day, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he yeah. was incredible. Anna Smith as well was incredible. Yeah, yeah. We had an incredible squad of players. And, yeah. Uh, it really was a special moment for me as a fan. And yeah. I shared it with David Ilya because me and David Ilya come through the ranks together, all the way through. Okay. From from 10, 11 years old, we came all the way through. So to to win the title at home, both of us starting for yeah. Arsenal. Yeah. It was a special moment for us, really special. And uh, you know, I, I I still think about it now. Honestly, I do. Really? I still think about it now. I miss Highbury. Yeah, I love the really. Emirates. Emirates is a fantastic stadium, yeah. but if. I really I still miss Highbury. I yeah. do, especially under the lights. Yes. At night, I do miss it. Yes. Yeah, a different type of atmosphere, isn't it? Different type it of atmosphere. That closeness, the junior yeah. gunners down yeah. the, up, you know, the west side. Yeah. Yes, that's down right. Down the bottom, you know, it was special times, man. Real special. Yeah. That's fantastic. And you still, you still have your championship medal? Yep. Yeah. Mum, mum's got it. Mum's got all my medals. Give them all to my mum. Oh. Is it, really? Yeah, give them all to my mum. Oh, wow. All Why to mum. Why not? Yeah. Well, she's a life giver, so Fantastic. she brought yeah. me into this world. Yeah, exactly. So you know, yeah. it's uh, it's all down to her. And me and me pops, but me pops is happy with a couple of beers. Oh. <laughs> he's happy with a couple of beers, <laughs> my dad. Not anymore, but he's happy with a couple yeah, of beers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Atletico Madrid coming up on Thursday night, mm -hmm. big game. Um, it's half season, really, isn't it? I mean, how do you see that going, Kevin? Well, I'm, I'm really optimistic. I must yeah, be honest so with you, I'm really optimistic. After the home leg and how win. Arsenal performed, I mean, we should have been out of sight in that game. We got mugged. Yeah. They mugged us. Yeah. Um, I see Arsenal creating chances. Mm. I really do. And it's just a matter of can we take them. Absolutely. If we could score first, I think we're well in the tie to go through. Yeah. I really do because they're going to have to open up. Mm. And once they open up, there's going to be gaps. They all play a similar way. They're, they're, not, they're not really they're attacking not gonna, time. They're not going to change. No. Yeah, they're not so. going to change. The leopard don't change his spots, <laughs> right? But we've, we've got all the, I believe we've got the class players. Yes. We've got the class players and we've got the fluidity about our game. Yep. But we're going to have to defend better. Yes. We're going to have to defend better. And must hope for a good referee as well, a strong referee. Well, you a strong referee, yeah, it's not but, you know, gonna be... we're going to have to defend better, Claude, because, you know, getting done at, uh, I would have taken a 1-0 yeah. last we week. We all would. I would have taken a 1-0 oh, yeah. and going there with some advantage. But, you know, to get mugged by Griezmann in that way, 
was 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 tough to take. Mm. Yeah. But you know, we created that many chances. Yes. Yes. I I believe we go there with a new mindset. Yeah. I think we'll. Fair enough. In Spain, they haven't conceded a goal in so many. Guess Spain. We're talking about Arsenal here. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're talking about yeah, the yeah, Arsenal yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're going to score. I really do. I think we're going to score out there. Yeah. And if we score first, if we score first, we're going through. Yeah. We got to score first. Fantastic. So, any predictions for um, uh, Thursday, yeah. or just for us to get through? We'll get through. Happens. We'll get through. However, uh, listen. However, we get through, we get through, yeah, and we get to that final. What about one 0 to the Arsenal? Uh, we'd love that. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely love that. Absolutely love it. Kevin, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> thanks for coming thanks, on. Thanks, Thanks for having me on. To have a legend like you on the on the on the show, but thank you for coming. Thanks for having me on. Yes, thank Ty, you very much, Kevin. Thanks really for having me on. I remember seeing that. you. I remember seeing you at the Emirates, member, and I said yeah. I'll come on. Yeah, absolutely, you did. You did. You're welcome yeah. anytime, and thank you very much. Well, come Let's on again. Win. You know. Please let exactly. me know. Just let me know well, when. We want you on regularly if that's if that's okay. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> if I can come on regular, well, I'd love to. Thank you very much. So if anyone's got any, thank you very much for the questions, by the way. If anyone's got any questions, what do they have to do, Claude? Just leave the comments in the box and uh, we'll get back to you next week. That's from, from Claude, me and Kevin. Thanks very much for watching. Bye. Cheers. We're giving you a chance to be on Arsenal Fan TV and give your opinion after the game. All you've got to do is WhatsApp your video and hold the camera like this. Send it straight after.